Yo, what's good, Grindy Gang? It's Jay back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to style puffer jackets. So in this video today, I'm going to give you guys my complete guide of styling puffer jackets. I'm going to take you through a couple of different topics as far as different types of puffer jackets, different ways people style puffer jackets, shapes and silhouettes, colors and materials, and lastly, where to shop and find all these puffer jackets at. So make sure y'all stay tuned and watch the entire video all the way through. You don't want to miss any of these hidden gems if you really want to be getting fly for this winter season. So do that also if you haven't yet follow the boy on instagram the instagram is fire bruh and i ain't even trying to guess it because it's mine like y'all that follow it y'all truly know last thing i need you guys to do is go down and smash the like button on this video you don't understand how much the like button helps promote my videos to a wider audience on youtube so go ahead and do that and we're gonna hop into the video i know that you guys are probably gonna go and shop for puffer jackets right after this video so one tool that is definitely gonna be well worth it is shop tagger so shout out to shop tagger for sponsoring the video but they are a really good extension to use when you're online shopping because it gets you a whole lot of deals bro i personally use them and have found a bunch of different crazy deals so i'm going to take you guys through how that all works right now so all you have to do is go to this blue button right here to add the extension to chrome once you do that it will bring you to this demo page that shows you a bunch of options that you can choose from to add to your store list but what we're going to do is we're going to go up to one of my favorite stores right here and we're going to choose an item so you can see how it works now what i chose is these mason margella glasses right here and all i have to do is go up to the shop tagger extension click it and it will show my product right here now you have a couple of different options you have this notify when tab which pretty much pops up and shows you when you can be notified when there is a price difference now you can be notified when there's any price change 25 percent off or 50 percent off so for this i'm just going to go ahead and click on any price change and they will literally notify you via email or text notification when there's any price difference on this item what you can also do is you can go down and choose a list now you can create a new list or you can choose from existing lists that you already have for this i'm going to go ahead and create a new list and i'm going to name it sunglasses boom go ahead and hit enter and now it has it selected for me once you have all that you go ahead and you click save now once you have that it will bring you to your dashboard and you'll be able to see all of the items that you have saved or you can go to your list and the certain brands that you like and all of that now what shop tagger will also do is they will scan the web for coupon codes and apply them at checkout automatically so that you don't have to go through and do it yourself this is a special feature if you use shop tagger on your computer so the chrome extension is definitely a must shop tagger also just launched a new cashback feature so you can earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select partners and retailers. Now we're gonna hop right into the first topic, which is the different types of puffers. Now you've probably seen a couple of different variations while walking around and the most common one and the one that you probably click this video on for is the heavyweight puffer jacket. Now this is gonna be your more bubble style jacket, but this isn't the only type of puffer. You also have your lightweight puffer jacket, which is the same kind of concept, just not nearly as as much insulation and feathers within it you also have your gillets and vests which is pretty much the same concept as the heavier weight joints but it's just a vest or it can typically be maybe like a scarf style look to it but same type of concept just without the sleeves and then lastly you have your non-quilted version which has more of like a padded look to it um i know prada makes one like this i'll kind of put up a couple of different examples but it really just doesn't have that like bubble look to it now that we got that out the way i'm going to focus more on this heavier weight type puffer jacket because i believe that's the one that most people have in their wardrobe and that's the one that they're really trying to look to pair with different things so i'm going to run down a couple of different styles that people wear them as far as streetwear you have your more cozy type style then you have a little bit more of a not dress up but more of like a smart type style to it so of course we gonna start off with the streetwear style because i know you right here are probably watching this video and you probably want to wear this with some type of street outfit i, I know how y'all is bro i know y'all so we're gonna start off with that now the most common things you're probably gonna see with this are probably gonna be a lot of 
baggier aesthetic type pants, you might see some baggier jeans in there. You might see some cargo pants. A lot of times you'll also see some straight fit skinny type pants in there as well. They'll probably end up matching the outfit along with some Air Force Ones or maybe even some chunkier type shoes. It's also put together with maybe a t-shirt, sweater, or hoodie underneath and then finished off with like some type of hat. Maybe it'd be a beanie or a trucker hat of some sort. Now the second style we got is the cozy style. Now this one is also very common because puffer jackets really have that like homey, warm, cozy feel. So you'll probably see a lot of people pairing it with like some sweaters or even maybe like a track suit or some sweatpants. Now when you see this, you're usually going to see like some joggers and you're going to see some white socks paired along with some Air Force Ones or trainers, whatever you may have it. So you're definitely going to see that. They're definitely probably going to have a beanie on top. You're probably not going to see any type of trucker hats is gonna be beanie like 99% of the time. But I definitely feel the cozy vibes, but I definitely do. Now the third one is a little less common, but I wouldn't say it isn't getting done. And that is your more dress up or not even dress up. It's more like a smart wear type style. So you'll almost see people wearing it along with some button up shirts or some trousers and even like a nice pair of dress shoes or loafers or something like that. So kind of depends on what your day to day basis is, but I've definitely seen it done a couple of times and they've been pulled off pretty nice. So moving on in topics, I want to talk about silhouettes. Now this is going to be the most important in my personal opinion, because this kind of depends on how it fits fits on your body and how the whole overall outfit balances each other. So the first one I want to talk about is your cropped silhouette. Now your cropped puffer jacket is going to be one that's a bit more rare. It's going to be a little bit harder to find. I'm not going to lie to you. But one thing you can try is going to the women's section and buying a bigger size so that it fits your body right. Now the reason you would want to do this is because this is going to give you a more tailored designer type of look, believe it or not. I know a lot of y'all are scared to go on women's section but i'm telling you that is where you're gonna find some of the best fitting stuff especially if you're more of a skinny type build so one of the benefits of having this more crop style jacket is you're able to layer it and the pieces kind of look stacked on top of each other it's a whole different vibe i'm telling you you're also going to want to pair it with one of those like maybe like flare denims or a different type of flare tech pants i kind of have an example that i'll show later on in the video but this almost gives this like perfect like christmas tree type shape to your outfit and it's absolutely insane i'm telling you pair it with like some bulky shoes or some boots you ain't gonna go crazy but i'm telling you you also have your more standard style jacket that most people are probably gonna come across especially if you're shopping in the men's section now this jacket is gonna sit right below the waist and it's gonna be able to pair with almost everything like this is the safe option to buy so this is the one that you're probably gonna see the most often it's definitely easy to pair with certain things like um your baggier denims or your straight leg pants it's definitely going to look right with almost anything now lastly you got your oversized puffer jackets now these ones right here don't necessarily have to be like a big size or a size that's too big it can also be those jackets that are cut a little bit longer so it might come along that thigh area and this is one of those things that you would want to pair with like a more tapered style pants and then kind of level it out with a little bit bulkier shoe or boot i think it's going to be a vibe so moving on in categories we have colors and materials now this is going to be super important depending on how you want your closet to be set up personally i think if you really aren't experienced with matching different prints and colors you're probably going to want to go towards the more solid puffer jacket now these are going to be the most common ones to find especially when you're casually browsing websites you're going to see the more solid color ones pop up a lot more often these are also going to be the easiest puffer jackets to color block your outfit with but if you want to get freaky with it and dibble and dabble in the different prints and materials you can definitely do that as well there are a couple of different varieties when it comes to puffer jackets I've seen them made out of crazy things like denim. I've seen them made out of like bandana and paisley print. I've seen, what else have I seen? I've seen like some shinier metallic type of materials. I've seen 
prints and graphics. I've seen full graphics on puffer jackets. So it kind of just depends on your vibe. If you get one that's a little bit more wild, you're definitely going to have to tone the outfit down and kind of be more careful on what colors you match it with. But the solid ones, like I said, it's, it's just going to be an easy staple for anybody to throw in. Now, moving on towards the end of the video, I want to make sure that I provided you guys with places to get puffer jackets instead of just telling you and then making you like do some wild goose chase on where to get puffer jackets at you feel me so now we're gonna go ahead and start off with affordable now obviously affordable is a relative term but this is gonna be all jackets that are under three hundred dollars i believe now in my opinion that's affordable when it comes to a heavyweight jacket so anything under that is affordable but we're gonna start off with this jacket from minimal because i have it in person and i can tell you that this joint is well worth the money this one right here i believe is like 88 dollars and they have it in black as well and the insulation and the way that it's cut and shaped is just crazy like you would think that this joint right here is by a designer brand and costs like $500 or a thousand or something like that. So definitely well worth the money. Another place you can get some good puffer jackets is Cold Laundry. Now I don't have one of those on hand, but they're really known for their more earth tone type colorways with their puffer jackets. So if you're looking for something a lot more minimalistic and that kind of goes with a lot more things, I would definitely check out Cold Laundry. They run right around that $250 range. So you also have ASOS. Now ASOS can kind of come in clutch. I'm not even gonna lie to you. They have a bunch of different variations. So you kind of got to fish through the good ones, but I'm telling you, you can find a really, really good puffer jacket on there for maybe like $150 or under. So definitely check out ASOS. You have Zara as well, which I believe is right around that $100 range. Zara is probably gonna have a lot of those more more tonal type colors too so if you're looking for like a more earth tone type colorway check out Zara. You have your super common and probably the most expensive on this affordable list, which is going to be North Face, obviously. Um, North Face makes some of the best insulated puffer jackets. They obviously know what they're doing and they're a very well-known brand, but they're going to run you probably about in that $350 range. So keep that in mind, but also North Face is like a no brand Now, lastly, you have Uniqlo. Now, they are one of those brands that doesn't have any type of bad reputation. So definitely check out Uniqlo. I believe all of their puffer jackets are probably like under $150 as well. So now as far as high-end brands go, there's a bunch of different variations you can kind of look out for. If you're looking for something more designed, tailored, and cropped, I would definitely check out Rick Owens. If you're looking for something a bit more typical but higher end, maybe like a Montclair type jacket, or even like a Canada Goose. You also have Balenciaga puffers, which has been like a huge thing, especially within these last couple of years, especially in that year of like what 2017, 2018, when Everybody was trying to get the Balenciaga puffer. So lastly, you have the Alix Studios puffer jacket that is absolutely insane because they added the little buckle detail along the neck. So, so definitely check out those brands if you have a little bit of money in your pocket to spend that's where I will go. So lastly for the video, I couldn't show you this and give you all these tips if I weren't taking them for myself. So what I'm gonna show you guys is a outfit that I styled myself, which is also up on Instagram. So if you could bless your boy with a like on this pic, telling you it's well worth it but what i have right here is of course the minimal puffer jacket that i put on top of this jacket right here from boohoo man now a lot of people were asking about this jacket i'm not sure if it's still available on the website but but i want to go with like a more tech wear type outfit with this for the bottoms i made sure i had these like techie type cargos right here which actually has this like scrunched up type effect but i'm not going to talk about these too much because i haven't shown them off yet but they're from the copper zone and they have this flare cut at the bottom of it so i was able to fit it above my beautiful Bottega Puddle boots perfectly. And it just added the cherry on top of this outfit. So that's one of those, I believe I had like some Montclair glasses and stuff like that, but y'all can go to the picture for the full effect. That's pretty much gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe for your boy. We're almost at 85,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy to me every time I look at it, but appreciate y'all for the support. I'll be back to you guys with more videos. Peace. Tell me why I'm crying in these Saint Laurent's Yeah, yeah, these Saint Laurent's Tell me why I'm crying in these Saint Laurent's